Silent Letters, Loud and Clear, written by Robin Pulver. Silent letters are seen, not heard. They follow no rules when they appear in some words. Watch for them and keep them in sight. Your eyes, not your ears, must spell these words right. Practice, practice, practice. Good spellers are made, not born. Every day in Mr. Wright's classroom, without fuss or bother, the silent letters waited to take their positions in the spelling words. They never called out, me, me, me. When it was their turn, they crept into their places without a sound. Sight. We're not shy. We're just tight-lipped. Daughter. We laugh a lot when we're together, but we know when to be silent, too. Thumb. I'll climb on here. Knee. Knuckle. I'm no knight in shining armor. Just doing my job. Wrinkle. I'll wriggle in here. Often, silent E was chosen last. Finn. I long for you. E. Fine with me. I like being last. One day, Mr. Wright checked his wristwatch. That wraps up our spelling lesson, he said. Remember, a mistake or two doesn't mean you're a bad speller. It means you've almost spelled the word right. Now let's give a cheer for silent letters. The silent letters waited. But no cheer came. The silence was deafening. Until the kids started complaining. Mr. Wright, why do we have to use silent letters in spelling at all? We can't hear them. Silent letters are a pain. S silent letters make spelling too hard. Silent letters are dumb. If that's how you feel, said Mr. Wright, you should send an email to the newspaper. Make your opinions known. Neat idea, said the kids. Kate sat down at the computer. The other kids helped her decide what to write. Dear Editor, Mr. Wright says good spellers are made, not born. But we don't like silent letters. We can't hear them. So who needs them? Why use them? Silent letters should be banned. We hope you print this. We hope people will read it and agree that we are quite right. Hopefully yours, Mr. Wright's class. P.S. Kate wrote this. The silent letters were dumbfounded. Silent G.H. sighed. I thought we were important. I know we are, muttered Silent K. Now my stomach is in knots. Silent W. wrung his hands. I'm a wreck. I feel wretched. I don't know how I feel, said Silent B. I'm numb. Silent E. said, I'm at the end of my rope. We're all in the same boat, groaned Silent A. Let's leave. The silent letters high-fived. Just before Kate pressed send, the silent letters sneaked out of the kids' email. Let's hide in the supply closet, said Silent E. We'll be safe. And out of sight, said Silent G.H. I've got a flashlight. The silent letters nestled in the cave-like darkness. Those kids shouldn't blame us. We used to be pronounced once upon a time. In the time of pterodactyls? asked Silent P. Not quite so long ago, said Silent E. Probably in the time of knights and castles. The silent letters didn't want to suffer in silence any more. They wanted to speak up for themselves, but how? What could they do? Fight with all our might. Scream like a bad dream. But the silent letters had to admit they weren't the fighting or screaming types. Finally, Silent G said, We could use sign language. Bright idea. Everything they needed was right there in the supply closet. The next day, Mr. Wright's class couldn't wait to check the newspaper. 
they opened right to the editorial page. Our letter, it's here, shouted Joe. We're famous. The kids gave a cheer, loud and clear. But when they started to read, it was the kids' turn to be silent. Dear Editor, Mr. Ritt says good spellers are mad, not born. But we don't lick silent letters. We can't hear them. So ho needs them. Why us them? Silent letters shall be banned. We hop you print this. We hop people will read it and agree that we are quit writ. Hopefully yours, Mr. Ritt's class. P.S. Cat wrought this. Finally, the kids got their voices back. What happened? Somebody messed up our email. What's hopefully? What's this about a band? Who is Mr. Ritt? Cat rot? This letter is embarrassing. The kids were even more embarrassed when they read the editorial next to their letter. Huh? What? Fire Mr. Ritt. Of course, good spellers are mad. So are we. Our readers don't have time to figure out messages with sloppy spelling. The only reason we're printing this letter is to highlight the spelling crisis in our schools. From the editors. The kids gathered around Mr. Wright, who was pale and sagging. It's not your fault. Suddenly, the knob on the supply closet door turned. The door creaked open. Out marched the silent letters. They were carrying protest signs they had made. They looked brave. Don't knock silent letters. Silent letters are mighty fine, not mitty fin. Protect our right to remain silent. Silence is golden. Thumbs up for silent letters. Don't leave me out. Don't write us off. They're back, the kids cheered loud and clear. Mr. Wright burst into grateful tears. Right away, with the help of silent letters, Mr. Wright's students wrote another letter to the editor. Winner of the Golden Pen Award, Best Letter of the Week. Dear Editor, never fear. The future looks bright for spelling. We made peace with silent letters. We have learned to bravely face our mistakes. Our teacher says the answer is knuckle down and practice. As usual, Mr. Wright is right. Your friends, Mr. Wright's kids, and silent letters. Not perfect yet, but a brave try. The quiet ones always surprise you. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.